AMS 2140. Order Tracking. In this tutorial, I will show you how to collect Spectra data on up to four channels based on order tracking and using the AMS 2140. As we review this technique, you'll note a visual reference to the CSI 2140. Please be aware that this product has been rebranded as AMS. Before we begin, let's review order tracking. Normally, vibration data is collected using spectrum averaging, which means that waveform data coming into the analyzer is used to calculate a spectrum. But the final spectrum created is actually an average of many spectra. This gives a good representation of the data and eliminates any random or one-time vibration sources. This does not, however, take into consideration variable speed. Notice in the first average, the imbalance value was at 24 Hz. In the second, the value was down slightly to 21 Hz, but the third average was back up to 26 Hz. So the average spectrum will show you three peaks, but the data is misleading due to the variable speed. But if you can add speed data using a tax sensor, you can perform order tracking. The 24 Hz is now expressed as one order, as are the 21 Hz and 26 Hz measurements. Your average is now based on orders, and the spectrum created is meaningful. Now let's look at the AMS 2140. Here you see the home screen of the analyzer. We'll walk you through data collection on a variable speed machine using normal averaging first, then repeat using the order tracking process. Select F7 Advanced Analyze, and then F1 Manual Analyze. Here you see the settings to collect 0 to 2000 Hz with 1600 lines of resolution, normal averages, and 4 inputs. I will now start the machine to collect data. The speed will change frequently while we collect data. When I expand the peak, you see an imbalance value, but that value is actually made up of multiple peaks. This is caused by the varying speed and causes the amplitudes to be incorrect. Let's see what this looks like using order tracking. Going back to the home screen, select F7 Advanced Analyze, and then F7 More Experts. Here you can select F8 Order Tracking. You would be able to start data collection immediately by pressing F3 or F9. But let's take a moment to review the setup using F1 Manual Analyze. You see here that the measurement parameters are the same as before, but now we are using the order tracking process. I will start the machine again so we can collect data. When data collection is finished, expand the spectrum to see a single peak with the correct amplitude. The data can be stored using F9 Store Data. This concludes our tutorial. Please continue watching to select from other recommended tutorials or visit the AMS Reliability Channel for the AMS 2140 playlist. Additional product information can be found at emerson.com slash AMS 2140. Thank you for watching.